Uh, first practice where we all came together, uh, a spirited practice. Guys flew around the back end, and the last 10 minutes was uh, was full scrimmage format. You know, and it's a controlled situation because there's only so many times uh, you know you want to go live uh, if it's not a preseason game or a game itself, but. It's something you have to practice. And so for the first four, uh, we stood up. We did not go to the ground. We did not tackle. And today uh, we kind of unleashed and let some guys uh, collision. And it was good to see their eagerness to want to make sincere contact. So uh, a good day today. Uh, went back and forth throughout throughout the practice. Very competitive on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, we'll need to watch the film to, to see if there's such a thing as one unit getting the better of the other. Uh, but, you know, two young receivers really stepped up to, to compliment uh, to compliment Greg um, and, and Marquez McNair. And those two guys are uh, Tariq Woolen and Tyke Kellogg that continue to express their big body, uh, fast, agile guys who we think could uh, add value to our football team in the passing game. So everybody's together for the first practice. Yeah. Full pads. Yeah. Bird cage. Felt yeah. like you really liked the vibe out there today. Yeah, yeah, I did. You know, it's it's interesting because before we came out, we showed them the inaugural bird cage at UTSA, uh, and it was a day two years ago, two plus years ago, where the clouds circled this field and it, it gave a mystic look. You guys kind of remember that that <laughs> view, and so uh, they were like, you know, they thought we had. Um, graphic did or whatever you call it and uh but it was an actual thing so we showed the origin of it and then build it up to suspense of today and uh we kind of when we present who's gonna go we kind of bring out richard Steele. let's get ready to rumble and then their names pop up in the ring so it, we have fun with it and the guys had a lot of energy and was looking forward to doing it today and the way we generally do it we take an older guy with a young guy and, and we baptize him yeah, we teach them how to do the drill and with greater experience, uh, a way to do it than with experiencing themselves. And so usually the older guy get the first uh, win and then we're able to teach off it and they grow from it. But uh, yeah, that birdcage was fun. I think it was even. Uh, you were here for it? Was it even? Yeah, yeah it was close to even, if not even, yeah. How do you choose uh, which guys to use for it? Um, you know, guys who duly jar a lot of, at each other in practice, guys that, uh, or early on, guys that we think uh, will be competitive, you know, whether it's stature or skill or strength, uh, we kind of match them up. And sometimes we take an offensive lineman and put them against a linebacker just with the reality of those guys having to engage and disengage with bigger men. So uh, we, we kind of do it that way. What's kind of the feeling at practice after you do a bird cage? We had to leave, so. Yeah, yeah, we're going to let y'all see tomorrow. Uh, we'll let you, see. you come in tomorrow? Uh, yeah, right. I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, I think it sets the tone. You know, when we first get out here, we blow the, the horn, and from the very beginning, uh, we run to the field. Uh, I run to meet the team, and we start our drills, and we go into our calisthenics, and from that moment on, everything is inside these white lines or transition movement um, periods. And so we're constantly running. When we come out of bird gauge, I think, uh, you know, we try to at that point just keep them to maintain uh, and be careful not to let them drop because they're so high coming off that particular drill. Frank, how did that DJ look out there with the full team? Yeah, he, he did some good things. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a volume of uh, play selection that he continues to um, to try to master. So, um, you know, he's, as far as skill set, arm talent, arm strength, uh, feet, uh, extend, all that stuff, it's there. It's just the system now b repetitively doing it over and over to master. So there's still some work to be done there, but he showed big playability uh, by making some big time throws and runs as well. Some of these younger guys, does it make it easier to evaluate now when you stack them up against veterans or because the reps are cut, so you have to really get more yeah. tape on them? Yeah, you know, we uh, we try to do some of our drills where we go back to back. And so we maximize it and we kind of divide the staff off so that guys are, are continually developing and they don't just halt because it's, it's so hard, uh, you know, within a timed practice session to get uh, four deep reps. And so uh, it's challenging. Uh, a lot of it's done in individual or in subgroup. When we come together as a team, it gets difficult because you don't have that many plays to get. Uh, and so we try to accommodate it by going back to back and still a lot of those drills to still evaluate their development.
coach of these quarterbacks, uh, you know, when they're in this competition now, <coughs> is it? Uh, is, is there more of a premium on making few mistakes, or is there more on making big? Or, or, or are you looking for big plays? Uh, Probably a combination. Yeah. You know, with, with, you know, our, our creed. Is it, it's all about the ball. We take care of the football here. And so that would be probably the greatest criteria, take care of the ball, give us a chance. Uh, and we do that by uh, ending every one of our series with a kick, uh, ideally with a PAT, sometimes with a field goal. And if we had to settle with a punt, meaning that we've taken care and secured the football. And so uh, your ability uh, to make good decisions and to keep the ball uh, with us is what we desire, that if a quarterback gives it to the defense or to the opponent, that's a problem. You know, because it seems like with the skill set of uh, some of your you know, skilled players this year, if you can take care of the ball, your offense is going to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, we think we had a chance. I think we had a chance. When you come out to this practice um, for the first time wearing pads and stuff, what kind of precautions do you have to take to make sure guys don't get hurt after, you know, not wearing them for yeah. months? You know, so uh, when we're not in full pads, with, which in reality is just the knee pad and the side pad for us, because we practice in compression shorts, if you will, so they cut at the thigh, and we do that on purpose and don't wear shorts, just so guys get used to exactly what you're saying, playing in that material style of pant in a practice format. So it's, it's routine for them, because they use it every day. We don't wear loose shorts for practice. We wear a compression short, which is a, a modified version of their game pant. So it's it's not a big transition except a knee pad. Frank, I saw a Zach Park pair, I guess. Yeah, He's yeah. Helping you guys out on Yeah, that. big pair, big pair. Uh, you know, continued to have injuries that lingered, uh, but is very much a part of this football program and right now serving the capacity of a student assistant uh, with us, and we're glad to have him. He's a he's a big. Uh, addition to our staff to have a guy who has been around our program, understand our culture from a leadership, but also relates very well to those guys that he's a little bit or, or, uh, young, older than. Yeah. Coach, uh, you, you mentioned the receivers. I mean, I wanted to check with you uh, uh, in regards to uh, Tariq and Taiki. Uh, they were at the, listed at the same position coming out of the spring. Yeah. Are you looking at them at different positions, or are they playing one uh, behind the other now? Yeah, they're playing with That's one another at the X position. It's the X position, which is uh, the one within the scheme of what we do that uh, creates a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups um, that you want your your bigger, more imposing guy uh, to be able to take advantage of those premium throws uh, versus coverage. And so they're both playing at the X position. Getting into birdcage this morning, you weren't in it, but <laughs> y'all were inside of it. What was it like? Oh, yeah, it's always fun to be in birdcage, you know, get the guys yelling and jumping around, you know, see a little collision before practice. So it was good to get the day started. With everybody out here together for the first time, full pads, birdcage, scrimmage at the end, and what was the vibe like in your opinion oh, today? It was exciting. It was an awesome vibe. I mean, everybody was ecstatic, ready to get ready to get going. You know, young guys and old guys together. So young guys have, have an opportunity to learn and watch the older guys, and then young guys got opportunity to get critiqued by young guys and the coaches. It just it was a good environment for today. What does that Devin look like out there? I mean, that's a big boy. I mean, <laughs> he runs hard. He's got good feet. So I mean, he's a great addition to the team. I can't wait to see him go. Is that why I took your number? <laughs> nah, man. We just <laughs> coach gave him a small, so I tried to help him out. I know him a little bit smaller than him. Give him some breather room through in practice. You know, don't want him to pass out. It's kind of hot out here. <laughs> what does it feel like um, being in the bird cage? I know you didn't do it today, but I'm guessing you've done it in the past. I mean, it's, it's in the trenches. Like I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the field all the time with the big boys, so there's nothing I don't see. But I mean, it's just you're in the trenches. If you don't know what that means, I can't explain it anymore. <laughs> How would you surmise, or do you have an opinion of how the quarterback battle is going so far? Or all those guys that are battling, are they rising up in your opinion? Too? Oh yeah, everybody's rising to the occasion. I mean, everybody's getting better each day. You know, everybody's competing. There's everybody's challenging. Nobody's accepting anything. So this is a great competition. I'm ready to see how it plays out. Now that all the guys are together, you know, reps might be cut a little bit. The younger guys have been working by themselves. So what do you have to show them about how important each opportunity is out there? You have to get the most out of each rep. You know, like you just said, there's not many to go around. So anytime you step on the field, you have to give your all and do your best and try to uh, perfect your craft and at that one important play. But, you know, that's every rep you take. So, yeah, just focus on that rep.